has consumido carne de jabalí, etc. Me quitaban las carnes de jabalí, literalmente aquí. Guay. Maravilloso. Conti, vámonos de aquí de una vez, del bosquecillo. Bueno, bosquecillo. Eran dos pasillos de bosque, no era más, honestamente, pero vale. De vuelta al pueblo. Hay que ver más escenas y coger más cosas que se le ha quedado a la gente del suelo. Moneda de cobre desconchada o algo así, o deslustrada. Uh, y no sé si algo más. Abuela, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué pasa? Ya encontré el camino a casa, todavía está mirando el árbol. El santuario del cabo lo tiene el hombre, es un altar silencioso de tranquilidad, es un agujero muy grande. Algo innombrable duerme ahí, de demons y empirios descansan dentro. Empirios, ¿qué es exactamente los espíritus estos? En las grandes profundidades y el perfecto silencio duermen y se desvanecen. Ten cuidado al volver a casa, ¿vale? No te vayas a perder. Por favor, que bueno, son cuatro casas, son dos pasillos también el pueblo. Es igual de grande que el bosque también, pero, pero vale. Vale, ahora Interrogación. Sí. Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious. Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Bien. No puedo esperar para que todo esto se vaya a la mierda. I better hurry home. Y más frases. O sea mejor que me prisa a casa. A prisa para ir a casa. O oh, acariciar al perrete. Que dicen que están en el chat. Perro rosa, no, es la iluminación. Es blanco, se supone. and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Rolo. 
El gato Rolo. ¿Eso no es una referencia a Silia 2? ¿No se llamaba el gato Rolo? ¿O me estoy pensando en otra cosa? Celica te enseñó cómo hacer tus especial quiches, ¿verdad, ¿no, Velvet? Sí, pero mis no son tan buenas como sus. ¡No seas modesto! ¡Son fantásticos! Simple, pero elegante. Eso es porque hay un secreto en el cheese y en el dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> We could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Frickleboars? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on! Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm... No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Yo solo quiero que pase esto. Tenías que decir en voz alta. Ahora sabes que se va a liar parda. Bueno, lo sabíamos ya todos en todo momento porque... Se tiene que liar parda, pero... Pero lo has tenido que decir. Yo soy aquí una vida tranquila. Pues, ala, toma dos tazas. Dejadme que os robe las patatas. De hecho, creo que era una patata lo que cogió. Vámonos. Ahora es cuando. Más historia. El principio, ya digo, es lento. Es muy lento. Lo que me he echado un poco para atrás. Como, ¿por qué no? Esto lo podría haber resumido bastante, yo creo. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princesias. I know how much you... Mom and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. En, en, es normal, un RPG al principio siempre es lento. No tiene por qué. Aunque eso es un poco estándar, Tales. Pueblo de mierda. Protagonista... El comienzo, por lo menos, solamente, quiero decir. Pff, gente que... Paletos en un pueblo abandonado en medio de la nada. Que están destinados a salvar al mundo de alguna forma. Que acabarán salvando el mundo de alguna forma. En el Eternia era así. En el... No, el Sinfonia, creo que no me lo yo... No, el Sinfonia no me lo he pasado. No me acuerdo del principio. Creo que lo jugué al principio, pero no me lo he pasado. Y no me acuerdo. El... ¿Cuál es el siguiente? ¿El Destiny? No, Tales of... ¿Cuál era el del tío rubio? También era un pueblo de mierda. Sinfonia. Que no toques los libros, que te pones peor. La culpa es de los libros. La cultura es mala. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level. So your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. What is tails? Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Laffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malakim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. 
I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Lafayette. set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. La parte yo lo habría puesto un poco más avanzada la historia. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. En plan flashback. Porque para empezar, lo pueden haber puesto en plan flashback después del primer capitulillo. Después de la introducción, poner esto. Que ya por lo menos tengas un poco más de, al principio de combate de verdad. Que al principio te corta mucho el rollo esta parte, es lo que me parece a mí, pero bueno. Observaciones sobre el Empirio sin nombre. ¿No es Arthur's book? ¿Es Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Quiero una brújula, chiquillo. Para no vamos a poder salir de la cama porque está enfermo. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went pricklebore hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur. So I know those pricklebores don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Pues vale, concha adorable. Uh, más objetos coger abajo. Había que encender el fuego, ¿no? He subido para nada. No sé, veo un punto donde subir. Ah, esto. Las escaleras están solo para subir, para bajar nunca. De igual altura. No es moscada. Ah, sí, objetos para luego poder cocinar. Cuando me lo desbloquean eventualmente. No puedo esperar. Firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet. Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once, and I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Pues arriba había que ir de todas formas al final. Eh, es como las flores. ¿Será que no he dado que se me ha olvidado coger flores en el cabo? Pues no he hecho nada más que dar vueltas en el cabo dándole a todo. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Que ha tosido, no es el fin del mundo, pero, pero vamos. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah. But what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. 
And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Acostumbrados a chiquillos, solamente hablan premoniciones. Yo solo quiero que todo salga bien. Todos nos preocupamos muchísimo por ti y todo va súper bien. Vamos a hacer la cocina. Y luego hay más cosas que dice, no me acuerdo ahora, pero vamos, chiquillos, exagerado. Pero lo importante es que la cocina ha vuelto, que en Cestiria no había cocinar y es como no. Hace falta buscar recetas. Claro, una cosa que no sé si ha vuelto es el Chef Maravillas. Tiene que volver. No que pegar la enfermedad. Sea la que sea. Indeterminada. El chiquillo es genial. Es... Qué bien, yo solo quiero que todo vaya a salir bien. Estemos todos juntos. Y así todo el rato dices, madre mía, chiquillo. Cada vez que abres la boca sube el pan. Ok, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? No dormió junto a ti, ¿cómo no te has dado cuenta? You little... Where have you gone? Es absurdo el principio de este juego. You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Vamos a buscar al chiquillo por el pueblo. Es lo que digo. Esta parte se extiende de más. Vamos a hablar con la gente por el pueblo porque la primera es que lo ves. Vamos a hablar con la gente del pueblo ahora para ver si he visto al chiquillo. Y... Ay, no. Espera un momento. Antes de nada, sé que hay otro cofre por el pueblo. ¿Dónde demonios está? Lo quiero. Son cosas que no me pertenecen, que podían pertenecerme. Hey, ¿has Luffy set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. Y curtió la portada con cuero también. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet! I saw Loppy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Ah, espera, frase con diablo. ¿Qué estás con los perros? He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. No estás buscando. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Buen perro. Ah, bueno, voy a hablar con los de la puerta. Y puede que he guardado dos o tres veces también. Pero voy a ver las frases por lo menos con 
voz, que son un poco más importantes. Have you seen Lafayette? Nope, can't say that I have. All right, let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way, not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry and be lonely. Me preocuparía estaría sola. Oh, tiene el motivo egoísta. Guardar. Hay que guardar todas las veces. Vamos a hablar con quién, con la abuela otra vez. Abuela, ¿dónde está chiquillo? No, ¿dónde está esta exclamación? Ah, tú, joder, he pasado de tu cara. Hey Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago, but what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Lafayette said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Hey, una luna escarlata como hace siete años cuando murió la hermana. ¿Qué es lo peor que puede pasar? Eh. Y al bosque otra vez. A volver a luchar contra cerdi, contra jabalíes de estos. Y por luchar quiero decir pasar de ellos si puedo. Aunque alguno me pillará. Fluffy. Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Fluffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah. So I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Y ahora vamos con el chiquillo al bosque. Remember how we went out together to pick princesias on the morning of Celica's funeral? Yeah, I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right, because the demons had made a mess of them, and then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. Ayudar al mundo. Es un tipo genial. True, but I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. Aquí comienza el crío. From where you were, a lone pair of princesia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, 
an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Fabuloso. Más. Eventos. Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo. Ah, pues, pero para que todo eso vaya la mierda, por lo menos he podido activar los jabalíes. Vale. Continuemos, porque el bosque ya lo hemos visto. Tampoco es que haya mucho que ver. Un bosque así pequeño y tal, íntimo, te lo llaman. Y guardar otra vez. Por supuesto que sí. En alguna voy a guardar donde tengo que guardar, como si lo vieras, pero oye. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to. Oh. Hey, juego. Luffy said, "Run, no matter how much it hurts. Run, Velvet. Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't. No." Si el chupio tuviera la fiebre de verdad no podía haber salido hasta aquí. Por fin un combate y es... de mentira. Okay. Wow. 